Happy Independence Day! It's the 4th of July, which in our culture, in our society, means hopefully a day off for most. A day of leisure, a day of celebration. I feel like barbecues are a big part of the way in which we celebrate. But at the root of this holiday, we must remember, is the notion of independence and what that even means. I would wager that another similar word within the Jewish tradition is freedom. How do we understand the freedoms, the liberties that we have? And of course we know deeply rooted in our tradition and in our text is this notion of freedom and what it means, going all the way back to the Exodus from Egypt. Our Torah portion this week aligns with this notion of liberty and independence in a very curious way. Our Torah portion is Parshat Korach, which tells the story of this individual Korach who led a rebellion against Moses and sort of decided that he and his buddies could do the job just as well as Moses was doing. And so we are asked when we read Korah to look at the unhealthy ways in which this dissent is expressed and also to ask questions about ways in which we could perhaps better bring up dissenting opinions because that's also something that's very Jewish to hold a dissenting opinion. So on this 4th of July, this day of celebration of freedom and liberty, where we prepare to read this story of a dissenting leader, I invite us to ask ourselves what roles we play in perpetuating freedom in our time and how we can bring up opinions that are different from those around us in healthier ways so that we can all experience freedom and independence and joy. <laughs>